Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate everyone. And thank you so much for liking and subscribing. It really helps me a lot. And thank you so much for visiting my website, paradoxastrology.com. I am a professional astrologer. I can help you with anything. Okay, let's get into this video. Okay, so I'm going to talk about my experiences that I've been having. I've been having a lot of spiritual experiences and it's because I've been doing the Kundalini activation. Well, I've been doing Kujian, which activates your Kundalini energy since April 2021, I think. No, maybe longer than that. Maybe longer than that. And I reached the mastery level and I just kept doing it. And then I started doing Sanskrit mantras and more Kundalini activation using Sanskrit mantras. And I think I was already open but then it just <laughs> and now I realize that this has been an ongoing thing for most of my life it doesn't just activate one time and it activates when you're ready I know there's a lot of kundalini teachers and there's a lot of different things you can go to and to help open up your kundalini energy and stuff like that but it will only happen to you when it's your time based on your own karma and so that's why not everybody experiences it but I know there's a lot of people are experiencing it and don't understand and that's why I'm going to talk about this because if you are you might think you're going crazy and that could literally happen I've talked to people like that who really believed it because they didn't understand what this energy is and what happens well the evolution of human comes from the activation of the kundalini energy of your body your body's basically dormant and because of how we live because of our society and what's pushed on us which is kind of an agenda but we don't realize that we're dumbed down and our body is it's kind of like you're in a body that's just not activated it's like you have this car but it has no power in it and you're just kind of sitting in the car and you thought the car was just like a place for you to sit but you didn't realize that it can actually drive it's kind of like you're in a spaceship that you didn't know that it could actually take off and you just never put the energy into plugging it in or you never put gas in it. It's kind of like that. So sometimes this happens spontaneously to people. And I used to think that I thought what was happening is I thought like a demon was after me after a while, to be honest, because I didn't understand. And this started happening to me in my early 20s and I'm in my 30s now. So it started happening in my early 20s and I didn't really understand. And I was living a street life doing street sales I thought it was a demon because of what I was doing and I didn't realize it was just my time based on my chart based on my karmas that I'm supposed to wake up in this lifetime a lot of like weird things would happen all these paranormal things start happening to me because of my energy was awakened my higher conscious had awakened but not all the way so I didn't really understand it I want you to understand that it doesn't matter what you're doing when your time is coming it's going to come you will wake up so on the street there was a lot of weird things Things that happened my kundalini just woke up one day i was watching a video and i think it was about the law of attraction and i just started feeling like i was going to channel I felt this huge energy and i was like whoa like what is that right then i started visually seeing energy then i started visually seeing music because i rapper and i was rapping and i could visually see it and i was like hey what's that it was releasing the veil so now i was able to see certain things and this is gonna sound so weird but there would be messages to me through people like through my customers on the street would give me messages and tell me and it wasn't them it was like the higher self was going through them and then telling me things about my safety on the street and yeah, it was really weird so I would know things even if I didn't come from my higher self through others and it would almost be like a channeled information that they didn't remember saying there was a lot of things that happened like that also I went through a lot of trauma. I saw my mom die in front of me when I was 21. Trauma can open up your kundalini energy and a lot of people don't realize that. So you can actually use trauma to your benefit. <laughs> and the second time that it woke me up because I was human trafficked, well, it wasn't the second time. It's waves. It goes in waves. So there's a lot of different experiences that I've had. Even before that, when I was driving one time, I swear there was a bus in front of me and I hit it. And I got out of my car and I was like, oh my God, I hit this bus. I'm so sorry. And they just looked at me like I was crazy. Now I understand that my kundalini energy was creating reality shifts. And that's not the first time that happened. It happened a lot of times. One time my car caught on fire and it was smoking from the front looking like it was going to explode and then it stopped 
somehow. Like there was always so many weird things that I was able to stop with my mind. Some other things I can't even say online. Yeah, that started happening because I started waking up on the street. So because I started waking up on the street, I started helping people get off the street, which is like, makes no sense. Cause why are you, you're selling to people? But then I was telling them they're better than this and they don't have to be addicted anymore. So I was getting people off the street. So I was starting to understand what my mission was to help people, but I was still an ego. So I was using it in order to manifest in order to make more money. So that's the thing. When you raise your Kundalini energy and you're still in what's called the spiritual ego, you will start using it for your own greater benefit. They talk about this in yoga. They talk about that happening to monks as well not just us uh regular people out here and a lot of people that you see in entertainment and people in higher up positions who have activated their kundalini energy and they feel like gods now that's that's what's happening and that's why it's very important what they say to have your spine straight before you activate your kundalini energy that's why if you have a guru and stuff like that they'll make sure that your morals are straight that you understand this power and that you, you have to be humble because you're going to lose it eventually because you're going to think you're a god and then you're going to stop doing your practices because you only have a certain amount open. You think you're a god and then everything eventually will come crashing down. And then a lot of people think it's a demon at that point. So I started waking up a lot. And then it happened again years later. I started meditating, having things happen within two hours. I was getting so many deals, so many offers. At the time, I'm living in Calgary in Canada and I'm getting signed by Grammy winner producers and the States and Sony. I'm like, I live in a small town. Like, how is this? And people were wondering, how is this happening? it's because I raised my kundalini energy so I became like a magnet I was able to attract whatever I wanted I would meditate and, and then have it happen and two hours later I was practicing visualizations like visualizing who's coming over the hill and I got to the point I could always tell you what they were wearing background what they looked like everything and so I was practicing these things my psychic abilities were getting crazy but I was still an ego trying to be in the music industry and so what happens is when you raise your kundalini energy to that kind of degree and then all the stuff comes and you and you're still in your ego then you're going to go after all these materialistic things and it's going to teach you it's going to humble you and it's doing that on purpose to teach you and you might have to go through a period of hell where you're living in your lower chakras there could be periods where the things are almost trying to kill you because you're living in your lower chakras and it's teaching you that's why spirituality can be very scary experiences it's not all like happiness and rainbows like there's a lot of fake spirituality people like to talk positively i'm happy i'm positive I'm in peace and that's easy to say but that's ego saying that what I've learned now by redoing everything and waking up in 2020 again because my kundalini started rising again I was a dancer I just got free six months before that from being human trafficked and I was being stalked at the club I was being threatened so I was still going through this kind of trauma and then I lost my job because of COVID everything shut down and then because I got out of the environment it woke me up and for two weeks all of a sudden it's kind of like my brain got this huge headache it started hurting so bad and it was like me I couldn't really sleep because I kind of realized everything was fake. Like everything I ever went for was fake. I always had these psychic abilities, but I didn't realize how fake the world was. And I started seeing it. I'm like, oh my God, all the rappers I looked up to are actually actors. Rapping isn't even a real thing is that I can accomplish. I've been going after all these materialistic pursuits. What is this? Money is actually meaningless. I have no meaning in my life. I've been going after all of these things and nothing's real. And then I had to do a show for like BLM and I was like BLM isn't even real I've been doing this show for why am I even performing and then I was like wow we're performing all these remixes to Biggie and Tupac we're just remixing people who are actually pushed by the agenda and I'm like I'm just pushing the agenda and I just started waking up and started seeing things and start researching and then that's what happens when it starts opening up you start seeing things you're looking for the ancient answers and started looking for all the answers and learning astrology learning numerology and it just pushed me and excelled me and then I started meditating again and then so flash to now and to 2021 and, and 2020 and then 2022 just advancing because I remembered how I would go into my meditations and I would feel this huge vibe and I didn't know that that was kundalini and I'm like well last time when I was in a bad situation I just meditated and then everything came so I'll just start meditating again sure enough it started happening feeling this energy so in the past 
past maybe 14 days now, I had five spiritual experiences of Kundalini raising. So what you do is you concentrate on the different chakras and then there's different vowels and there's different sounds and then you bring up the energy. And the first time I did it, all of a sudden, because the Kujian was working, I was feeling it up here. I could feel it. But as soon as I did the Sanskrit one, I got to leave my heart chakra a little bit before like the solar plexus start crying. I started crying so hard. I just realized everything is fake. I know nothing. I literally know nothing. I'm going into Jupiter Mahadasha, which is why I'm awakening because I meant to teach people spirituality. And I had to wake up two years before that because it's a gradual process. So at the end of Rahu, you're going to wake up. It's going to bring in that Jupiter energy and you're going to start feeling this if your path is spirituality. The past 18 years of Rahu, I've been living in my head. I've been just living, talking to myself in my head. I literally know nothing. I have all these experiences, all these materialistic pursuits, experiences. I've talked to all these people in my life and I've really thought that that equaled knowledge, but it equals no knowledge at all. It doesn't equal anything. It doesn't mean anything because the real knowledge is within. And it was so scary because I'm like, I literally know nothing and I'm living in my head. And I started crying and I started crying so hard. And then I was like, oh my God, even my dad is not my real dad. My dad is just my dad in this life but he's not gonna be with me in next life and i was so crying because i'm so attached to my dad so it was releasing all your attachments your ego attachments the meditation i cried for the rest of the meditation i was like four to five minutes and then after that i cried for another hour after that i was hyperventilating i was shaking i was like oh my god it's not real it's not real it's not real and then i was like i'm going crazy something snapped in my brain <laughs> i did this meditation something snapped now i'm officially crazy it's fine it's fine i'm like okay it's totally fine I'm just crazy. I'm just going to go back to my normal life. After like that hour, I'm like, it's fine. I'm going to go back to my normal life. I'm just going to end my videos, pretend like nothing happened. It's fine. It's totally fine. And my body's still shaking. It was just like vibrating. It was never the same after that. And that was like in December 20th or 19th. It was never the same after that. I've never seen the things the same. It's humbled me so much to realize that I know nothing. And I'm just on here. I'm giving you guys information of what I think. But like literally, I, I know nothing. That is the real spiritual experience when you realize how small you are and you're just living in ego. After that, every second day I've had something just, well, or every day I feel something within my body, the energy going up my spine, everything. But two days later, I started doing it and my whole body started convulsing. Like It's like a shake. I forgot the exact word in Sanskrit, but your body just starts shaking because it's getting rid of all these blocks. So that's why you cry. So that's why it's very scary. I felt it open up in here and it's like a crack. <sighs> And then I start shaking and then everything went crazy. And then I start crying and everything like that. It keeps giving me this release and it hasn't stopped. I keep having these kundalini awakenings. People say it's not a normal thing, but I know there's a lot of people out there. That's why I'm making this video. There's a lot of you that this is happening to. Yeah, it is scary at the time. And you feel like I literally felt like I was dying. Like my ego died. Like my body is dying. I'm going crazy and I'm dying. That's what I was feeling. And now I don't feel negative. Now I'm getting more positive. My ego's okay with it. It's like, why am I shaking? What's wrong with me but i understand that these are common occurrences but i think a lot of people don't understand them and we're always taught that this can only happen if you go to spiritual retreats and it's only once in a lifetime type thing no if you actually work on it and your body is clean and you have the right karma, the right birth chart, you can live a spiritual, your whole life is supposed to be a spiritual experience, not just in meditation. Those are the things that I've learned just by doing the Kundalini meditations lately. And I've had other spiritual experiences, like I said, of, of reading certain books and then having spiritual experiences. It's been a wild ride, but that's what happens when you go into Jupiter Mahadasha, you start getting downloads of wisdom. And now I was having dreams for the past year, which are continual dreams. And what they do is they teach you through your dreams well i had to work jobs in my dreams for the last year and now in my dreams i've said in the last two dreams they were trying to offer me to be a manager at some restaurant right and then i said no i'm meant to be an astrologer so what the kundalini does now it starts infiltrating your dreams because once you wake up in the physical realm you start waking up in your dreams because you're starting to understand in the physical realm you're able to materialize whatever you want you realize that it is a creation and you can create it and and you are asleep. When you realize you know nothing, that's when you have all your power, which is the opposite. We're always taught that we need to know everything and that's what makes you powerful and let's get a neural link so we can know absolutely everything and that's not knowledge. That's not wisdom. That's manufactured. But the real wisdom comes from the higher self and it will guide you when it's your time.
Um, so if you're going through any spiritual experiences that are kind of scary, it's part of the process because it has to eliminate your ego. And uh, that can be very scary. Or if you opened up your Kundalini energy and then now it's seemingly some more negative aspects is because you need to confront those issues which were within. And that's how you truly wake up. So it's a pretty magical experience. I just wanted to share that. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you and I'll see you next time.